Well, we've basically decided there are two categories of Studly tools. One is, all of them are documentary. So this is the setup that we use for that. Uh, we take shots of more or less every tool or tool grouping. For things that Studly made, we do, we add some special sauce. Um, first, we do a lot of macro photography, and we'll show you that in a little bit. <clears throat> for all tools, we do uh, your standard shots, which is straight on, rotating 45 degrees until you get every, every angle, an orthogonal shot or two. And for some items that are long, we stack images so that uh, you can get a great depth of field that way. Um, the documentary setup is using basically three remote flashes, all of which I control from here. We turn off all the house lights and uh, try to minimize all the distractions. Um, I've got <clears throat> some reflectors here and a shoot-through umbrella over there. All right, so now I want to get, I want to stack a bunch of images to get as much depth of field in the resulting image as possible. And to do that, we use a, you know, I'm using a very high-powered uh, macro lens. I can tap on the screen and magnify, and then I bring the nearest point into focus, into extreme focus. And in this case, the nearest point is that corner. So that looks good. I'll take a shot, and I'll work my way back the image here, we'll see Studley's name, and I'll definitely want to have that in focus. This is a really beautiful item, so we're going to spend a lot of time trying to get this one right. Parts. I'd really like a close-up of this lid open on this side so you can get the pin and the, mor uh, the, the mortise. So this is a special shot because this is something that Stully built and we're photographing the top of the oil stone box. If you take a look real close here, I've got uh, a very dedicated macro setup on a macro rail. At these resolutions and at these distances, you can't actually focus the lens very easily. So what you end up doing is using the, this rail to move the camera closer. Now to get, what we're trying to get is the plate on the top of the oil stone box that has his name on it. And you can see it propped up there on some battery stands. Um, so to do that, we're going to focus in really close and move the camera in until the image comes into focus. And you can see his name sort of showing up there. You can see all of the little engraving marks. Uh, we take items from the more documentary style in the uh, cyclorama and put them on this nice uh, textured background and do what we call glamour shots. Um, powering the light, lighting on this setup is uh, a number of things. Uh, we've got two of these. These are called Einsteins. Um, they're very, very high power and intelligent uh, lighting setups which are wirelessly controlled. On this one, I've got a snoot because I'm trying to control the light very um, carefully and a little handmade jobby of gaffer tape here, which helps um, focus the light very, very tightly. I should also mention that these are very hot lights. Um, over there, we've got a soft silver reflector, which gets rid of, rid of some of the shadows. And down here, this little jerry rig deal, uh, is just a regular flash, which I have another sort of homemade snoot on. It is also triggered wirelessly. So every tool gets a lot of time on this setup. We've got to reset up the tripod. We've got um, all sorts of different accoutrements for, uh, for getting just the, the right amount of light for what needs to be a very dramatic shot. These shots are going to be used for chapter openers, maybe for posters. Certainly want to call attention to the tools that Studley himself made. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're getting there. Basically, the end result of this is a bunch of images that I go review with Don, and until we um, settle on one that Don signs off on, uh, we keep shooting, and then it goes back in the chest. <laughs>